Hello everyone, today we're going to be uh, determining the missing angle of a right triangle using the cosine ratio. There is another video that talks about the missing side. I will put the link of that video in the description box below. So the formula again for cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. There is also another video uh, uh, teaching us how to uh, determine the sides of a triangle as either adjacent, opposite, or hypotenuse. Again, I will put the link of that video in the description box below. So looking at this triangle right here, our first step is to find or to describe what are these sides here, to name them. So here, 9, we have, we're given angle W and we wanted to determine what is this angle, how many degrees is this. So the 9 that we have here is the adjacent and then the 13 is the hypotenuse. So since we have adjacent and hypotenuse, we're going to use the cosine. So cosine theta, our theta here is angle W. So I'm going to go ahead and write cosine of angle W is equal to adjacent. So the adjacent side is 9 and then the hypotenuse is 13. Now here's the thing. We have a uh, we have a cosine w but we wanted w only but we have a cosine over here. So what are we going to do is we are going to get the inverse cosine or arc cosine. So how do we set that up? So we write w is equal to the inverse cosine or this is arc cosine of this fraction 9 over 13 and then we have to use the calculator to determine the value for this again the calculator should be set up to degrees so um, if you're using the blue calculator to know that it's in degree if you press the drg it's gonna it should the degree should be highlighted if you are using the uh, uh, yellow calculator again to find that it's in degree you hit mode and it, that the degree should be highlighted now if you are using other calculator if your answer is different from the one that we have here then the setting of the calculator should be um, changed to degree so we have here angle w is cosine negative one or the arc cosine to to, to set it up on the calculator, all we need to do is just to press second and then hit cosine and it should give you cosine negative one or R cosine or inverse cosine. And then we put this fraction in nine divided by 13 and then close the parentheses and hit equals and it should give us the degree now or the measure of angle W. So angle W is actually 46.19 if you round it off. So this is 46.19. 19 degrees. So this is the measure of angle W. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. Again, we label the parts first. We're looking for angle P. So if this is angle P, 6 is our adjacent. And then 11 is our hypotenuse. And then we use the same equation that we got over here, which is cosine because we have an adjacent over hypotenuse. So this would be cosine of P. So that's cosine of angle P is equal to the adjacent is 6 over the hypotenuse is 14. But we want the P just like how I set it up over here. So angle P is equal to the arc cosine or arc uh, uh, inverse cosine of 6 over 14 and using the calculator we should be able to get angle p as 64.62 did you get the same answer as this good perfect at this time we are going to have more examples i'd like you to solve for angles k and angle c i encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own and when you're done and pause it and check your answer Okay, so we're going to label the parts. So our K, since this is angle K, 5 here is the adjacent. And then 8 is the hypotenuse. So we're going to put this into the equation. That would be um, cosine of K is equal to the adjacent is 5. The hypotenuse is 8. So then our angle K is equal to the arc cosine of 5 over 8 and if you use the calculator angle k should be 51.32 degrees did you get 51.32 degrees good
Perfect. Now let's move on to the last one here. So pretty much the same thing. Seven is our adjacent and 11 is our hypotenuse. And so we are looking for angle C. So cosine of angle C is equal to adjacent 7 over the hypotenuse 11. So then C is equal to the arc cosine or inverse cosine of 7 over 11. And we set it up on the calculator. C should be 50.48 degrees. Did you get the same answer as this? Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!